Lesson one, nutrition basics. In this video, we're gonna go through two things. First is a nutrition pyramid. And second is our three nutrition rules. So let's take a look at the nutrition pyramid. As you can see, there are a number of layers to the pyramid and importance is based on the base being the most important, getting less important as we move our way up the pyramid. So there are six different tiers. We have adherence at the bottom, then we've got calories, then macronutrients, so that's our carbs, fats and protein, then it's micronutrients, then onto meal timings, and finally supplements. Supplements are often what people start to focus on when they're looking to get in shape, when actually they make very little difference if you don't have the tiers below it in place. During this course and during your time at our gym movement, we're going to focus primarily on these bottom three layers of the pyramid, adherence, calories, and macronutrients. Because if we can get these right, we can make, then we can make some really impressive progress. All right, so the nutrition rules. Now, we know it's pretty easy to get lost and confused when it comes to nutrition. There's loads of confusing, conflicting information out there. Loads of people with different advice. So we like to make it nice and simple. And that's what nutrition at movement is all about. It's about simplicity. There's no fads, no crash diets, no dirty bulks, no weird supplements, and no restrictions. Just a few simple, very effective, flexible guidelines that are easy to put into action and even easier to adjust to suit your goals and your personal preferences, but most importantly, your lifestyle. It's really important to get these three nutrition rules right because essentially, Getting your nutrition right so you can improve your strength, your body composition, uh, your health and your performance can be broken down into these three really simple nutrition rules. So here we go. Rule number one, 90% of the time make your meals or have a variety of single ingredient foods. This is what that looks like and it means having stuff like steak, sweet potatoes, peppers. They've all got one ingredient. So have something like that for dinner instead of the ready meals packed with chemicals, preservatives, and God knows what else. Another way to phrase this could be just to eat real food or whole foods. And the reason we want to do this is because good quality nutrition gives us energy, satisfies all the hunger, and it improves our health, and there are loads of other benefits. So you want to aim to include lots of good quality single ingredient foods and not have your diet dominated by junk food and processed food. Rule number two, be flexible 10% of the time. So, you should definitely make sure that good quality whole foods dominate your daily food intake. That's why 90% of the time we want to stick to eating single ingredient foods as part of our meals. But the other 10% of the time, you can be flexible and pretty much eat whatever you want. So that's what this would look like. It's okay to have donuts. It's okay to have some junk food. And it's okay to just enjoy some of the not so great food that you love. Don't worry about having these things every now and then. And then just make sure that A, they don't dominate your diet. And B, when you do have them, they fit into your calorie targets for the day. We're going to talk about calories and tracking your food in a bit. But the reason we want them to fit into your calorie targets is so you don't massively overeat. Because if you overeat, you consume too many calories and end up gaining unwanted body fat. And we know that to lose body fat, we need to be in a calorie deficit. This means consuming slightly less calories than our body is burning. Then, obviously, to build muscle, we need to be in a calorie surplus. So that's where we're going to be consuming more than our body's burning. So we can give our body the building blocks it needs to grow muscle. But within those targets, we can be flexible. We don't have to be on a clean eating diet all the time. We can have that 10% of flexibility. We're massive advocates of this approach because it allows you to enjoy your life and not feel like you're on a strict diet all the time. It means you can go and have some ice cream when you go to the cinema or you can eat some cake at your kid's birthday party. But all this is reliant on rule number three. Now, this is the most important one. So, make sure that you track your food intake and hit your calorie and macro targets every single day. So, macronutrients are protein, carbs, and fats. Now, this is important because if you don't track, you can't possibly know if you're eating too much, too little, or even being consistent at all. 
And if you don't know that, then you can't realistically expect to get good long-term results. Like I said, the main reason for tracking is to see if your nutrition targets that have been set by your coach are actually working. And by that, I mean, is eating this food helping you reach your goal of building muscle or losing body fat? We need to know the quantities. To start with, these targets from your coach are going to be an educated estimate and they're a good starting point. But then when you check in with your coach and get your measurements done, we can see that maybe you need to eat more, maybe you need to eat less, and we can make those adjustments, all tailored to you specifically. It's important to try and be as accurate and as consistent as possible. And you can do all this in an app called MyFitnessPal. Tracking your food allows us to monitor what you're eating and make adjustments in increasing or decreasing your calorie intake so your progress never plateaus for too long. So as well as sticking to rule number one, 90% of the time, make your meals or have a variety of single ingredients foods. Rule number two, be flexible 10% of the time. You're also going to try and stick to rule number three, which is to track your food intake and hit your calorie targets every single day. An important note is that you're never going to be spot on to the exact gram or the exact calorie every day. But a good level of accuracy is within 100 to 150 calories. So if your daily calorie target is 2,500, then anywhere between 2,400, 2,600 calories is really good. You're never going to be spot on to the exact calories, but being in the right ballpark is going to do the trick over, over time. So they're the three nutrition rules. We literally can't make it any simpler than that. Now, it's not easy because there are lots of things that go into getting this right every day. There's lots of habits, a lot of hard work and a lot of consistency, but that is as simple and straightforward as nutrition can be broken down just to those three things. And the reason it's just these three things is because it's easy to understand, it's straightforward to put into action, and most importantly, they work and get the job done. They get results, and on top of that, and this is the really important part, you won't ever feel like you're dieting because there's the flexibility. There's room to make some changes without feeling like you've fallen off the wagon. There's room to enjoy some of the foods you love that you wouldn't be typically classed as healthy. So it's just those three simple nutrition rules as a nice, easy start. Rule number one, 90% of the time make your meals or a variety of single ingredient foods. Rule number two, be flexible 10% of the time. Rule number three, track your food intake and hit your calorie and macro targets every single day. Now, just a couple of things I want to add. When you start tracking, you'll, you'll find it a little bit tricky. So the first thing is I want you to focus on is just hitting the calorie targets. Don't worry about the macros, the carbs, fats, and the protein too much. Just hit your calorie targets. Then once you've got that nailed, aim for calories and protein. And get those things, get those two nailed down to a T. Once you've got the calories and protein, then we can move on to hitting calories, protein, carbs, and fats. If you really do struggle with this and you're finding it tough, or maybe just completely new to tracking, a way to make it a bit easier is don't even worry about hitting specific calorie or macro targets. Just get used to using the app, tracking your food and seeing how much you're eating each day just to get a feel for it for a week or so. And once you feel comfortable with it, then go into tracking your calorie targets and then aim for the macro goals later on. So like I said, they are the three nutrition rules. Rule number one, 90% of the time, make your meals or a variety of single ingredient foods. Rule number two, be flexible 10% of the time. And rule number three, Track your food intake and hit your calorie and macro targets every single day.